the quality of these is getting so good these days that I do actually have concerns that one day the clients are just going to go, don't even bother flying it. This is good enough. And in today's five minute Friday, I wanted to discuss how to run a mission in 3D in Google Earth. This is something I do a lot, both for my peace of mind and also frequently send these to clients as mock-ups of what they're going to see um, when I actually turn up on site. So how do you do that? I've got this mock-up here or this, this mission here of a golf course that I'm currently filming. And if I run a 3D preview or run a preview, you'll see that we can see up in this window, the top right hand corner, you can see the flyover. And that's great, but if you really want to get the detail, you're going to want to see something with better quality. So if you have Google Earth Pro installed, it's a free download, but uh, there's plenty of videos on how to install that. But if you have Google Earth Pro installed and you click on this button here that says Google Earth, it's going to export a KMZ file. And if you open that KMZ file in Google Earth, it's going to zoom in and it's going to add it by default into this area called temporary places. And if you expand that, you'll see there's a flight path, which you can see. There's also, it'll show you where the captures are. So you end up with a red dot, either where video starts or where photos are taken. And you end up with this thing called flight motion. So I'm going to turn off these two things. And I'm just going to double click. The flight motion has a little camera next to it, as you can see. And if I double click that, what you'll see is it'll start running this mission. And I'll speed it up a little bit. And I'll just pause it to give it time to catch up. But what you'll see is you now get this beautiful view in Google Earth in 3D. And this is exactly something you can do a screen grab of this area of the screen and send this to your clients. I, one thing that the quality of these is getting so good these days that I do actually have concerns that one day the clients are just going to go, don't even bother flying it. This is good enough, but that hasn't happened yet. But as you can see, this shows you exactly what's going to happen. And it's just a great way to check the framing and everything else before you get on site. Anyway, I, I thought this was something a lot of people use. And I discovered talking to someone on some training I was doing the other day that they didn't know how to do this. And I thought I'd put a quick video together on it. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment.